Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is move zeros. So the question says given an array nums, write a function to move all zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So if the input is 0, 1, 0, 3, 12, then we want to move all the zeros that are like two zeros to the end of the array and the element other than zero uh, their order should not be disturbed. So if it's like 1, 3, and 12, the order should be maintained in the output, right? So the question says you must do it in place without making a copy of the array because one really uh, straightforward or naive approach would be to just count the number of zeros and just create another array with all those zeros placed at the end and then just copy all the non-zero elements. So we don't have to do that. Um, also, the question says minimize the total number of operations. Okay, so uh, this question is clearly about rearranging the elements of the array in order to achieve it in a certain or specified state, and that's why we we, we should go for using two pointers, right? Um, because using one pointer, we can find out wherever the zeros are, and the other pointer could find elements which are non-zero, and we could swap them to achieve the result. So let's get started with the solution. Okay. Yeah. So as I said, we just take um, i equals to zero and a j equals to zero okay and now we obviously we want to travel through the whole array so we'll just say that while so so the idea is that we will move i to find the first zero in the array and then right from after the value whatever value of i we have uh, got where we have found a zero Right from the next index, we'll find the element, first element, which is non-zero, right? So, for example, here, um, I would be at zero and that itself is zero, so it doesn't need to move. And then we'll start searching for a non-zero element after zero, which will be one in this case, because it is the first non-zero element. Uh, and we'll just swap them. And we'll increment i, okay? Similarly, when we find so, so I here would be zero after swapping. So again, that would be stuck there. And then from uh, the index one onwards, we'll try searching for a non-zero element, which we'll find at three. And hence, we'll swap them again, right? So the pointer that will keep on, um, let's say, progressing or will move forward in the array would always be j because it will go to farther values than i right it will always go start from i plus one and that's why we need to have this check in place that j should not exceed the length of nums okay okay so uh, once we are at this we want to first of all find the first zero right from wherever we are so what we'll do is that while yeah while i is less than nums dot length so that's always the first check always always the first check we should do whenever we are dealing with a pointer okay so this is less than the length of nums and nums of i is not equal to zero because we want to find a zero so yeah Okay, so till that's the case, we just keep implementing i. Okay, now after this, there are two possibilities. One of them has become true, right? So either i has reached the end of the array or we have found a zero. So first, let's check if i is equal to nums.length. then we just want to break break out of the whole while loop right otherwise yeah otherwise we are good so otherwise we just say that j equals to i plus one and then we 
set out on a search to find out the first non-zero element after i, right? So again, while j is less than nums to 10, and j is equals to 0, because, oh sorry, nums of j is equal to 0, because we want to find a zero, uh, non-zero element now. Okay. So here again, it could have reached this last, in which case we want to break. Yeah, break. Okay. Okay. If not, then we have found two values which are a zero and a non zero value, and we just need to swap them. So we'll just do a simple swapping logic here. Sorry. Nums of i, nums of i equals nums of j, and nums of j equals to temp. Okay, and then we do an i plus plus. Why? Because i has got now a non-zero element which is fixed in that position, and there's nothing we want to do about it. So we just move i to the next position so that now we start looking for a non-zero or offer for a zero from i plus one, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. We don't have to return anything. So yeah, let's try running this code. Okay. Yeah, it works. So the time complexity clearly is O of n because we are just traveling through the array once and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra array or any other collection. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you. If, you, if it does and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.